Anyway, next is Barongedon. And wow, hero power just got worse. Deal 10 damage to the enemy hero if they have any unspent mana. So yeah, that just went from bad to worse. And for the sport I'm gonna try the same deck as I used last time, the Barongedon Warlock. Because last time around in the Heroic, in the Blackrock Depths, I <laughs> actually was trying a lot of stuff on the second, on the arena. Then I suddenly turned on this Warlock deck from the normal difficulty and it worked like a charm on the first try. So possibly hoping for the best scenario here as well. <laughs> Sacrificial pack back. Ah, uh, oh, this is not really a good hand. I want something to play earlier. Possibly one mana. This is not what I wanted. So I'm just gonna get default. What? What? What the hell? One hundred life. <laughs> Giddy. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> what the freaking hell? I must be... F I can wow, I must be having hallucinations. 50 shield, come on. What's this supposed to mean? I serve the fire lord. That means there's gonna be some... Some strategy that's going to take care of everything. I can't really afford to take so much damage. So. Ah. <laughs> ah. Well, that's interesting. That's real interesting. I'm not sure at all. How am I supposed to? deal with this. Well, damage number one, done. So it's not 100 anymore. Huh. Well, uh, I'm a bit baffled at this point <laughs> by all this, really. Stronger, just going to be useless. Kind of like to draw a card here. Now I will need to explode you. Seems well because I need to spend the mana. Just need it to happen. Lava burst is gonna destroy you. And I'm heading into a time where I'm going to be having serious trouble actually keeping <laughs> my mana at minimum. Because really, what can I do here? I'm pretty much in a hole. The problem is going to escalate real badly. Red Inferno. Demon Fire. And Face. Are you? No, you. I don't want any extra damage here. Yeah. Living bomb, that's obvious. 
Unfortunately. But yeah, I can destroy you through this. So that's fine, I don't need to use the power overwhelming really. And if A. I need to. I need to play Emperor Thoris' son. I'm just going to use your base. You to remove you so that Emperor stays alive. Oh, This is getting mana interesting. <laughs> This is getting very, very mana interesting. <laughs> that belongs in a museum. Some Jones, yes. Uh, actually, a pair of Thorisan might not be the best idea here because <laughs> I need to keep on curve real bad. No flame, not really helping. Yeah, it's very improbable that I would draw something nice. I'm just gonna use all my mana. Present damage. But still, I have 60 life to take. That's an insane amount. Yeah, this is a table clearer for me, so. <laughs> it's not like I'm in some great position here, and he's not even a demon. So, that's damage into him, uh, which is nice, but I need to kill you, because I need to keep these two guys alive. Yeah. Bathe in flames. <laughs> <laughs> well. Eight. Uh, yeah, I have a way out of this at this point. Come on, come on, this is getting close. But I still need to survive quite a lot. This is not a demon. Not a demon either. But I can't really safely heal here. Voidwalker is not very mana expensive. Come on! Really? I'll be left with fun life, exactly. <laughs> That's brutal. That's brutal. And I'm actually going to heal myself through you. At least a bit because it would be very dangerous. And I need to go face in everything I have. No, 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 come on, come on, really, it was almost done, almost, come on, if he didn't kill those, that would be six, nine, next, come on, it was almost done, ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, but yeah, this, Warlock deck was actually close there, so it's not all that bad. So I'm just remove, gonna tweak it a bit. Remove, uh, remove the cheap parts there. Baron Gedon is going to get Prince Critted. Emperor Thorisan is gone. Black Knight as well, because they are literally useless. Harrison Jones as well. Ultin Watcher, nice healing. Billbot is good. Even though it looked really like it cannot work. It's really kinda okay. -ish. I need some really seriously strong bodies here. For the late game, so. Uh, I'm gonna include Anima Golem. Because I usually have something that survives there. I'm not really all that worried about that. So, 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 so that might work out well. And I need to stack up on 
Late gamers. Yeah, I need the second heal bot. Where is it? Where is it? Second heal bot. Yep. And next, next, next. Um, extra damagers. Or stun for stank max. That could be nice for absolute late game. Yeah, sacrificial pact. Sacrificial pact is interesting, so I want to keep that. I'm just gonna return to it in a moment. But what I'm not really interested in is what. These are all quite expensive, which is nice to have. Void Walker is my round one play. I know Yotron is, in my opinion, not really doing enough here. Oh, actually, making my minions cost more is not a bad idea. Mechurgo Mercenary could work quite, quite nicely here, actually. <laughs> You could make my minions, yeah, very expensive, huh? It's not a bad idea, not a bad idea at all. So let's just include the other sacrificial pack uh, uh, instead of dark bomb, example. Barongedon, heroic. Heroic get on. And let's see if this works out. Gul'dan versus Baron Geron. Yeah, sure, I will. Ah, everything needs to go. I really need <laughs> an early game. Yep. So I won't be getting free damage on first turn. I beat you. And on three, on turn three either. Destroy a demon, restore 5 health to your hero. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to keep that in case I have to destroy something like the floating watcher with the living bomb and such. Just happened. Well, tick tick. No, okay. Well, that's what we had the sacrificial pack here for. But first, I'd like to kill you somehow. But even fire is not really the solution, obviously. Well, well, no, no, it isn't. It really isn't. So I just have to play something interesting here. And it's actually living bomb is not five, but ten damage. That's also a change against normal difficulty. Ooh, 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 ooh. okay. So yeah, it needs to die. Let's try through the sacrificial pact. Ah, 
lava burst to you, flame him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that's nice. That's very, very nice. That's very nice and base. Seven damage is a lot. Seven damage is a lot. Now, I'm a bit of a pickle. Yeah, I'm gonna receive the damage here. Oh, it sucks. So that's 10 damage to me. And health fire, huh? Why did he play that? Not all that sure, but anyway. I have a healing right here. and something else. Yeah, lava shock. Yay, yay. That's gonna be extra to damage. Well, but still, anti heal bot survived, so not all that much of a problem. Now I need to spend 10 mana, or oh, 9 mana. That's a bad number. I don't really have here. If I sacrifice the... F I can't even sacrifice you, because you just won't die. I could kill you through Shadow Flame, which would be 4 mana. That would be leaving me at 5. Uh, and yeah, that could work. That could work. That could work quite nicely, actually. And... Next step... Is Floating Watcher. And again, face. Are elemental. Yeah. That's well played, damn it. That's kinda well played. It's kinda well played. Uh, if I buff you up. <laughs> Not going to survive anyway. So. It's the play here. Demon fire and kill you. Uh, I'm not seeing all that nice plays here. So let's just draw a card and see what I get. Next power overwhelming. Alright, that's going to be 5. It's not really ideal at all. Well, I need to kill you. That's more or less set. Then I need to kill you. And I'm healing. Damn it. I'll be having nothing again. Ooh, ooh. Uh, ooh, ooh. It's not cool. That's not cool at all. Oh, hello. It might allow me to survive, but I'm afraid not for long. <laughs> One life. Okay, so is there a way out of this? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so, really. Oh, possibly, yeah. Uh, I can heal up. You. Give you extra damage and absorb you. Huh. 
Really? That just happened. <laughs> okay. Problem is that I'm getting a lot of damage next turn. <laughs> I'm gonna heal just five. Uh, uh, that's a lot of damage I'm going to your face right now. Now I need to draw a card, Mistress of Pain, Red Inferno, and her. But if you have a damage spell, I'm done. Ah, but you don't. Demon Heart. Yeah, again, that's not 5 mana. But. <laughs> Let's play this out. Yeah, didn't get lucky. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Ah, it's kinda getting there. If I get a better draw, it might actually work. But the thing with making my own minions cost more is not really a bad one. Huh. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna try it one more time and then I might want to include Mana Raid, which is uh, all minions cost one more. It might help me in the early rounds, or rather later rounds, because in the early rounds I'm not really having a problem, because I can usually deal with it uh, through, the heroic through the hero power, but later on it gets much more problematic to actually build the curve. That's a pretty horrible start. Looks like it's totem damage. Yep, unfortunately that's what it is. That's just what it is. But now it's Mistress of Pain. And Im Gang Boss. Hmm. Yep, I don't need to even kill you. Which is very nice. But this girl could be really important to healing actually. If I could draw a demon fire right now, that would be very helpful. Uh, alas, I do not. Well, let's just draw another card. And yeah, here we go. We're going to get all the damage. <laughs> Damn it. I serve the Fire Lord. All right, we are at five, which means we need to be a bit careful. We could power overwhelming and clear the table. Uh, do we need to be so extreme right now? That's 4 or 5 damage. I will heal a bit. Uh, I will heal a lot actually through her. I will also heal through anti heal bot. Hmm, yeah, I will heal through her. <laughs> Guard destroyer, yeah, that's obvious siphon so. And a no play from you on this turn. That's nice. Or no play. Well, it's not really much of a play, so not really a problem. And I'm going to go for Venture Com Mercenary, but with Mistress of Pain. Ah, I'm just gonna play the Venture Co. And draw a card. A full hand, really. Teak, teak. Teak, teak. Yeah. Bathe in flames. Teak, teak. 
Oh, that escalated quickly. <laughs> That's actually a GG. I can heal right now. I need to get rid of you. That's it. Yeah, that's GG. It didn't really go all too well. Huh, what could be a good idea to deal with this and then this? Warlock deck. I need to keep on curve. I might possibly be able to... Uh, 100 damage, that's a, that's a lot for Zu because Zu has very weak minions and you really shouldn't be able to overrun him because that's 100 lives, that's a lot it's a serious lot to take down to one or two damagers so I'm not really thinking that's, a, that's the best idea right there hmm. so what could be the best choice? Something like Alex Trasa would be nice because it reduces him by 35 lives, just like that, obviously. Unfortunately, I don't have her. I would have to craft her. Not all that sure. I'm not all that sure I would want to because I don't really play decks that she would be all that great for. Yeah, for Jenny to do this. So I need to stay on the curve. And right now, Void Core and Sacrificial Pact must stand because of the Living Bomb. You go it down and the even bot coming up. Tick tick. tick tick. Well on you. Oh that's not cool. Another living bomb. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Mm, such a shame. But anyway. I will have to use both of these, so I might just as well draw a card. The Sacrificial Pact on you. Shadow Flame on you. Yeah, I don't really want to bathe in flames. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, but now it's getting less nice. Uh, uh, I need to draw a card to see what I get. Anima Golem is not a cool answer, because he's just going to die. That's, that doesn't make any sense at all. Might as well do this. And sacrifice myself. Come on. There must be some interesting trick to this round. What could it be? What gives me protection and what gives, keeps me nicely on curve? Huh. I'm going to try to include uh, the mana wraith. That will make my guys a bit more expensive again.
Belgard is interesting. He can destroy one of my mana crystals and potentially help me. Anima Golem is proven absolutely useless, so I'm just gonna remove that. And besides that, what else could be fun? I don't know, it really seems only the mana rate. It's kinda interesting. What is my curve? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then it gets difficult at the end. Where is the mana wraith? Do I even have it? Yeah. I have it twice. I have it twice. Uh, uh, well, what should I remove, really? Void Terror is potentially quite interesting right there. Mistress of Pain is important for the healing. Shadow Bolt is going to be removed. Sacrificial Pact is for the Living Bomb. Priceless. Our overwhelming helps fill in the one mana thing is there. I don't want to replace the expensive cards here. So I'm just looking what from the cheaper ones could be replaced. Oh, let's take the another for Felgard. Here we get a number two. Um, well, it could actually be interesting to have a rogue for this. Because he could potentially gang up. Uh, no soul adventures gang up send expensive minions into my deck uh, but the card draw is not all that re reliable there he also has ways to send minions back into your hand and replay them spending your mana and obviously the shaman from the class challenge might be really an idea here because of the overloads. Because of the overloads. Because overloads keep your mana pool down. And well. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna try Shaman next game, I think. I'm gonna try him. Might not be a bad idea at all. Yep. Mana Wraith it is. Or isn't? Yeah, it is. Yep, thank you for the imp. I can at least kill you through it. If I need something for 3 mana. Hmm. So, unfortunately, I'm getting damage here. That's uncool. Alright, that's a pretty quick GG. <laughs> that's a pretty darn quick GG. I can't really do anything here. That's it. Okay, well, let's put together the Shaman deck. Because this has some idea behind it, this Warlock. But it's not working. It's not working all that well. I almost got him. But it was just once, and it seems like to be pretty much luck there. So, what about the shaman here? What I'm going to remove? Uh, this is some kind of historic deck. Yeah, this is my old secret one. I'm just gonna keep that, that's fun. Heroic Gar. 
gonna print screen that and I can remove it because I'm not gonna use it anymore I think. So let's just make another one and that's the shaman. And what do we want to do? include then? Overloads. Overloads everywhere. Overloads everywhere. And tank totem is kind of a staple. about this that's a lot of overloads right there right there oh, I don't really have first round place so I need to include those uh, what will be the best here to help in what I'm trying to do some spare parts possibly would they be useful yeah they could be I could draw. I could actually draw into uh, the one that returns into hand, and that could be quite fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Yeah, I don't really want to unlock my overload, so I'm just gonna do that and include... I want to include something more expensive, maybe, maybe the mana wraiths. Hmm, I'd much rather think I want to include uh, the Venture Crow Mercenary and the healers, of course, and the heal bots. That's what I want to include, I think, quite assuredly. And the other guy is the Venture Crow Mercenary, so I have to make some room for that. Yeah, I want to keep those expensive ones. And, 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 and. I'm just gonna remove one for lighting. Does Devil is good one. Have Greg Custom Forged Axe. Yeah, I'm gonna remove one of the axes here. Okay, so heroic get on. And let's see how this shaman works. I will. Well, I can leave Feral Spirit in the hand. I have first round play through a lightning ball, that's nice. Uh, well, nice. I'll be kept at one, so I will have to. Yeah. I'll be forced to use it again. Huh? Hmm? I the fire. Lame Walker. Okay, 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 okay. Now I am at two mana, which means a totem. Yeah, I am a good one. Unfortunately. Good enough, really. Uh, but right now, 
Metal Spirit and Forked Lightning would it be the best option? Or Stone Forged Axe? Ah, Feral Spirit is nice. With the Forked Lightning. Fortune, I'll be limited to just one mana, so I'm not all too sure I really did all that great. Yeah, I did not. So, I will have to learn how to play, actually play this deck first. <laughs> yeah, I need to be careful about this. I need to be real careful about this. That's a nice round one play, that's the one I want to see. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Unbound Elemental of course. Overload for 2 means that I won't be able to play anything on round 2, which is pretty much fine. I'm not really worried about that anyway. Yep, I'm very much fine with what I'm seeing here. And I'm gonna to be alive here, or at least try to, because Flint and Toteng do a lot of damage. Uh huh. Yes, and it will. It will. Yeah, I can easily kill you, that's no problem. That's no problem, I can very easily kill you off. No, no, no. Lava burst. No. No, that's a very nicely cleaned table from him. No. Okay, so you will be left with three. Five, I would be six and next turn I would have problems to play literally anything. I'm just gonna play the Earth Elemental here. Oof, I was a bit worried. Yeah, another living bomb might come into play. Fortunately it didn't. Yes, I need the Lava Burst you. We are going to face. No, I should have got Lava Burst your face. Drop you further. Flame heart, nice. <laughs> I'm pretty much in luck that he's not having another living bomb. Another phase and mercenary that will mean seven, eight, I will be having ten. It's, oh. 7 right now, 8 next turn, 8 next turn, this means it will, yeah, I will be fine. This is getting ugly. This is getting ugly, but yeah, I can sacrifice you very nicely. Okay, that's working like a charm, like a charm. And I'm gonna heal. Heal you. Do the face with you. Wow, so far this is looking nice. I've almost reduced all of his shield. Come on, come on. This is pretty interesting and exciting at the same time. Six. 7, 9, I can do that, or I could play 5, 
yeah, that's not really ideal. So I need to play five. Six. Uh, yeah, I need to play totem. That's a good one. I need to play totem. Fire elemental into you. Lightning bolt into you. And face. Living bomb into you, yeah. That was kind of expected. And lava burst. Damn it. Oof, at least I have a way to kill it off. <laughs> Lucky there. Fortunately the one over uh, over guy blah 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 just screwed me a bit over. Because it was being at 6. So I will be receiving a lot of damage here. Then be precise but not anymore than that and yeah unbound elemental and new hammer it's like a very good option right now another living bomb come on how much how many of those do you have there now this is a problem because I can't kill it off. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's a uh, that's serious problem. Right there. Because this is 5. And this would be 9. And I don't have enough for that. Damn it. Well, that's GG then. Because this will deal 10 damage. And 10 damage from it. Come on. This isn't going. Oh, I can actually make it work. Now look here. Fortunately, this <laughs> is the consequence. Well, it almost worked. It almost did work. Hmm. Interestingly enough. Elements guide me. Elements guide me. But obviously, I need some silence, the silencers there to actually protect me against those stupid bombs. There's like a ton of them. So I need to adjust the deck a bit. But it's going in the right direction. It allows me to control the mana quite nicely. Yeah, I need silence. Silence a minion, that's what I need. And return a reincarnate destroy minion, then return it to life with full health. It's also a very good one here. That's going to help me. Lockwork Gnome, no. Hex wasn't really needed. As we could see. Hmm. Ah. I'm gonna remove one crackle in favor of the earth shock here. And that could be it. So here we get in number two. Very nice draw. Very, very nice. Okay, 
I'm gonna keep that because that's very useful to have in hand. Dust Devil, yep, that's a very cool number one play. That's a very cool uh, one play. Going in into the Inkang boss, yeah. Absolutely standard start. And right now I have 3 mana. I have 3 mana, which means Unbought Elemental might be a good idea at this point. Yeah. We are just going to face and then into. And Flame Waker and nothing else. Okay, so we are going to survive. In some way. Uh, how are we going to spin this? We will be left with one mana, which is a difficult deal. Or, I will be left with three. Uh, uh -huh, yeah. Stoneforged Axe. That's the best play here. I need to remove you from the picture. And you as well, for example. Oh, lava burst. Oh, oh, oh. Well, at least he will have blocked uh, mana, for example, for next turn. At least I hope so. For mana, for mana, for mana, and uh, for six. Uh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. You are going down. So that you don't take both of these just as easily. Yep, healing totem. Oh well. It's nice. Now that helps. No, I'm gonna keep the weapon. He doesn't have any weapon removal, so I'm not really in a hurry. In a hurry to do anything. Hmm. Earth Elemental. Anti heal bot. <laughs> well, at any rate, I'm summoning. Totem. If I summon you, you will have 3 overload, that's gonna mean I'm gonna have 5 yeah. It's pretty fine. Yeah, Unfortunately, I couldn't really capitalize on the 7 damage, but that's not really a problem. Because right now, this allows me to play Venture Pro Mercenary quite nicely. And go to face at the same time. Flame Heart, and still you're not getting any living bond. Maybe you will get one now. Now another Flame Heart. So you are just guarding up. And the living bombs are just at the bottom of your deck right now. So I definitely got lucky in this round. Nine, yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna destroy you. Instead of to kill one of you, two face. Admirator, and now we can play Living Bomb because I can kill it off. Wow, you just extended that on me. <laughs> Forked lightning. Hmm, well, I'm gonna heal up, that's for sure. Mana spent very nicely, and Earthshock Forked lightning. Forked lightning is actually pretty cool right now. So let's Come on, I misplayed. I should have killed this one. 
I'm such a noob. Damn it. Come on, hon. Come on, Jan. Such a mistake. Well, I need to do whatever I want. For example, this. <laughs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, yeah, and here's the punishment for my newbie mistake, damn it. Yeah, they definitely greatly. Because he removed my option to actually kill it. Ah, uh, yeah. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Really. That's 10 damage. Uh, well, you would just die, so I'm just gonna use this. Yep, that's the power of living bomb and the terrible misplay I did there. Oh my, if that's gonna cost me everything, seriously, I'm gonna hate myself. Yep, that's another 10 damage. And living bomb. The fire fire guard destroyer, come on! I needed a bit more effort from you. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going down. And. Yeah. I need to sacrifice you. And living bomb, another one. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to really pull off anything here. Yeah, I'm on the wrong. Yeah, this is the wrong number. This is unfortunately the wrong number. So all I can do is really this. And I'm gonna receive some damage anyway. Come on, it really seems I really lost this game. At a terrible misplay. Ah, ah damn it, that was close. But yeah, this really seems to be the way to actually get through. It requires a lot of luck, that needs to be said. I don't really like lucky heroic difficulties, but anyway. The way seems to be there. Uh, 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 I want to remove those two because I would like to draw the dust devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. That's a perfect start, really. Well, it was a perfect start, until he drew this. Flame whip number one, and maybe flame whip number two. Uh, no, just this one. Okay, so, this flame. And... Yeah, Rankin, that's going to be handy. Tick, tick. Tick, tick, yeah. Rankin is waiting here. Don't you worry. So that's one light bomb eliminated. Oh, well, you got right enough there. 
right enough there. I can't really play anything else than the fire element right now, which is just going to go paste to you, that's for sure. And remove one of the imps. And another living bomb, hello. A flame imp. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I will have an option to kill you off. That's bad. Oh, but I have ranker net. Nice. That means I can safely kill you. And I got lucky here. That's awesome to see. Uh -huh. Goodbye. And Earth Elemental. 8, I will be at 5, yep. That's the correct play. Living Bomb, no. You have fried the third one in your hand, seriously. At least you played in the wrong order. But still. Come on. This isn't funny. This isn't funny at all. Well. As well, die here. You can go face. You can heal me up and die next turn. And what else? Yeah, you die. Like my rage, just you. Okay. Well, I need to spend a lot of mana right now, and the best option is the Eagle Bot, Axe, and this. Oh, uh, that's nice, that's nice. Elements guide me. But I'd much rather get of you right now, until it gets out of hand. Bathe in flame. Damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, this really stinks. I won't have enough Elements guide me. deal with anything here. Elements guide me. So that's 10 damage to face. And no way out of this, it seems. Yeah, again, I don't have enough, so I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> Unfortunate right there, so I'm just gonna play it out to the fullest. Elements guide me. Job done. Fortunately, right there at the 10 damage. But anyway, obviously the best course of action would be uh, that special uh, legendary that came with Goblin vs. Gnomes that actually makes your hero immune. Well, that would be an obvious play. But I don't have that and uh, I don't really want to craft it. And I have serious doubts that <laughs> they would make uh, this hero difficulty just Bro, to use that card. That would be stupid. So I guess I need to get a bit lucky with my card draw. Reincarnate Doomhammer, Antique Hillbot, yeah, I don't want to get either of those. I just keep the Reincarnate because of the light the living bomb. Come on, come on, come on, that's the one. He didn't come, so free 10 damage, have at me. Then, not them, of course. Yeah, and in peace, okay. And right now, Feral Spirit looks pretty good, I will be at 2, yeah, that's a pretty good play right now. Tick, tick, ah, tick, tick, yeah. tick, tick, so soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
are not really worth rank on it, I think. But I have no other choice. So yes, I will use you to kill this guy. And bring you better back to life. Ugh, a living bomb right on. But now I have 5 mana, so I can actually... I should be able to deal with this, right? 2-2, two, two, yeah. I will just flame tank totem. Normal totem, and then I'm going to silence you. So that's two light bombs gone, and he has light uh, hellfire just now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to be a bit more luckier. Yeah, I'm just gonna play a totem and lightning bolt. Keep those more expensive in hand. Ah, lava burst. Let's just destroy everything I have. And I need some minions, come on. Just not getting anything useful here for them to control the mana flow. Venture Commercenary is here, but at the wrong point. Right now I need to really use the everything I have here. I can't really receive the extra damage. So let's lava burst to your face. And X on you, for example. Flame Imps, that's fine, it's fine, I'm again at 6 mana, really, ah, didn't really count that through very well, but I didn't really have any other choice, so it's not like I could have done anything else. I can kill you guys, let's do that. Let's do that, and why not flip them? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice at all. We bit ridiculous. I'm gonna give it another shot, but I have to think about something else, I think. actually think I have some more ideas here I need to silence my guys uh, probably the biggest problem is the living bomb that keeps killing my minions I need to somehow prevent that potentially silencers on me some other means of silencing me then I have to have a look
Okay, what now? Uh, three will be at two mana, yeah. That's the correct play. Yeah, I can safely kill you off and no problem there. Uh, how do we do this? Now we are at 5. Maybe there's something useful? Oh, actually we might. If we were at 6 it would be much better. Lightning Storm. A Hex on you. I'm just looking at the Unbound Element again. Just so badly wants to come up. kill you off or hex you for that matter yeah I can f safely kill you with another one there then lightning storm uh, then Rather than Hex. Oh yeah, Hex. Okay, now it's a good thing that I get both of, both of those <laughs> lightning bolts. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to hope something comes up. Well, something does, but it's not really great. So that's the damage to face. Oh! That was almost lethal there, but it will be pretty soon anyway. Yeah, not just yet it seems. We have a way out of this. Hmm, we don't. We don't, we don't. Mm, come on. So what would be the even better play here? I'm starting to think that there might be a better option. But what would that be, really? Naturalize, Savagery, In Touch. Keeper of the Grove, that's a silencer that's useful. Other than that, nothing really all too great. A Hunter. A uh, Hunter doesn't really seem like the correct option. In this... Yeah, that's pretty useless. Mage. Hmm. Mage. Mage. You can have some ice barrier. Ice block. Uh, that's about it. Um, well, 
doesn't really feel all that right. Eladin is an interesting option. Oh, eye for an eye suddenly springs to mind. How about that? How about some paladin here? Hmm. Custom rogue, yeah, that was the rogue for on the previous black rock depths, I think. So let's just try the paladin. That seemed like an interesting option there. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. Then. Do I have some way to actually kill my minions easily? Or not? Because if I don't... Sorry, not divine favor. It's not really all that great idea as I was thinking first. Hmm, yeah, so no. Paladin is not really I'm the coolest guy here. So, confirm that I want to delete you. Priest, silence, yes. Hmm, okay, so let's try another priest, I guess. Because he does have silences here. He does have decent silences. Might we steal his living bomb? That would be pretty nice. Circle of Healing, oh, no really, Northshire has simple card draw, Divine Spirit could keep some minions alive, possibly, Resurrect, oh. not really, Lightwell could heal me nicely, Thought Steel of course, yeah Shadow works, of course, Shadow Madness, yep, that would be useful. Holy Nova, as well. Cultist, I must dispel, of course. Oh, Holy Fire, why not? In the end, Mind Control. Does he play any strong minions that I want to get take? Why can't, one can't hurt? Well, that's early play. Round two, simple healing into anything. One, two, three, four. I'm really low on minions here, so I need to somehow improve that. Not really having a good idea. Should I pick really? It would be nice to have a Cabal Shadow Priest, but uh, I don't really have that, so... I'm really looking at some... Yeah, Youthful Brewmaster could be fun. To repeat some of what I have. Yeah, especially the Silencers, okay. So I just remove Lightwell. Youthful Brewmaster is in. Iron Beak Owl will be in as well. And I need to make some more room for her. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove Shadow with the Pain one. And then, what could be useful? Oh, huh. some more silencers. More ancient brewmasters. Hmm. Divine Spirit is gonna go. It doesn't really seem all that useful as I had hoped at first. Uh, the Veiling Soul. Silence your other minions. That's Silencer right there. But Spellbreaker seems much more useful. So, Heroic, get on. Again, 
This time with Priest. Now let's see how this works out. Again, the second one is very difficult. It was the same with the Black Rock Depths. It was also difficult, the second one. Anduin versus Baron Geron! I will burn, you say. Yeah, sure. But in that case... I'd like to do that on my own terms. Come on, round one. Oh, seriously. Nothing. I'm just gonna absorb the damage for free, really. Such a bad start in hand. Well, this basically warrants, warrants another try with this. Manager of Flame Walk, Flame Waker. Okay. The next round, I'm probably gonna play just Shadow Madness to get rid of you. Because you are just annoying here. Magmarager. Magmarager. Just gonna kill you. I don't really have a better option here, unfortunately. Hm. So you are going just for the damage. All right. All right, that works for me. Time Baker and our cultist. Now this seems decent. Yep, and we are ticking. We are ticking and lava bursting into you. Damn it. It's damn well played. But still. I have the silencers here, so I'm not really all that worried. And what is the correct play? Well breaker. And Ranger. Yep, that's how far gone. That's how far gone. Don't steal. Fill our hand, okay. With two of these, huh, interesting. Interesting, go. Three, yeah. Play. For example, you and heal up. Flaming Bond number two, nice. And Fire Elemental, yep. So I can kill you off through this. Uh, but do I want to do that? I want to do that. And when I like, look at this mod, this spell is actually not all that useful because it's not dispelling mine. So instead of that, I might want to include uh, the wraith that actually does silence my other minions. All right. So what's next? I can pick you up through the youthful brewmaster. Six, seven. Oh, that would be enough. You are going to face. I could also just silence you easily. But at any rate, North Shire Cleric is coming up. And whatever I decide now is going to happen. Hmm. No. I'm just gonna silence you. Another living bomb on you right now. Nice. Ok, 
Okay, this seems like a good point for Holinova. Right away. Can deal one damage to you. Yep, that's okay. Another damage. And Holinova. It should give me two cards. And yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Time Waker, of course. Time Waker, of course. And healing up. My face. Okay, that's nice. Oh, damn it! I forgot about her. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Come on! How could I have screwed this up so badly? Oh my god! Well. Okay, that's another attempt gone, I'm afraid. Oh my god. What did I just do? What did I just do? That stand damage is not gonna return anytime soon. I totally forgot that Jesus cursed. Oh my. Oh my. Really, 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 that really happened. Holy Nova, yeah, that's not useful. Yeah, might just as well play this. Just as well play this, okay, let's see what this last card, Molten Giant, well hello. Well hello, hello, hello. Robert Pain, that's just, yeah, into the weaker guys. A bit more interested in removing you, somehow. If I silence you, you will become a three. That's okay. -ish. Let's do that. Right away. My fate is sealed. As right this. Away. As this. Cards, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick the second golem, second mountain giant, of course. That's actually pretty fine. It's pretty fine. Giants are <laughs> pretty awesome at this point, it seems. But I have to get rid of the mana, so. Uh, how are we going to do this actually? Drink with me, friend. I can just pick you up. I can just pick you up. Heal. Okay, come on. I can actually make <laughs> use of these brewmasters. I can just turn them around. <laughs> That's funny and spend my mana. Okay. That's nice, yeah. And that's a way to actually nicely use uh, the ancient brewmasters as well. Okay. So, well, this probably means that he has both of these guys there. Well, could this actually work, you know, through the... Pretty bad misplay I did there. <laughs> well, 
this is a funny way to finish this. <laughs> this is golden. <laughs> yeah. Just this is just great. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. This is funny. Drink with me, friend. Drink with me, friend. This is gold. This is pure gold. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I have Iron Big Owl on you. And we can finally play those giants. Fine. But you have an empty hand right there. So. One is removed. Through this. I need to be careful here. Because cost one less for each. Uh, that means 19 less. That means it will cost one, which is the one odd thing I need to take care of. Yep, you are going to face. I need to take you back into hand so that I can spend the Odd mana, yep. Challenge accepted. And then it's going to be what? Healing on me? And Iron Big Owl? No, just the silence there, an extra card for me. Yep, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, it's fine, and do I have enough mana to spend? 6, 8, yeah, I have enough. More, uh, more than accepted. enough, actually. More than enough. Your magic shall not save yep, that's this. Destroy a minion, okay. I can heal myself up. Uh, Silence, another one. Kill you, for example. Doesn't really matter right now. Because it's a GG and it's done, even though I misplayed that in the middle. It still went quite nicely, as this deck is the correct answer to all our troubles. I'm out of cards. I'm out of cards, yeah. Challenge accepted. Yeah, I'm just going to play everything here. <laughs> just for the fun of it. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes! So, even though I misplayed there in the middle, it's still the deck was so great. Even though there were some useless spells, like the Mazdi spell wasn't really useful, but it was still, it was at least partly useful. It was a lot of mana for mana, and it allowed me to draw a card. So, it wasn't all that bad, but the deck overall, the idea of it was pretty great. Alright, so that's Baron Geddon done, finally. That was a difficult guy took me quite a long time but anyway what remains now is the last guy